top YouTube star facing backlash after racial slur in a live video. Google takes aim at Apple's intelligent tracking prevention system. And Facebook tests preloaded instant videos. So stay tuned for issue 46 of Digital Marketing Weekly. Each week, DMW reveals the most important news in the fast-moving worlds of video marketing, SEO, and social media. So let's get started. Top YouTube star facing backlash after racial slur in a live video. YouTube star PewDiePie finds himself in hot water again this week after using a derogatory word for African Americans while live streaming on YouTube. PewDiePie has over 57 million subscribers on YouTube and reportedly earned a staggering $15 million from YouTube ad revenue last year. PewDiePie immediately followed the slur with, I don't mean that in a bad way. However, the company behind the game PewDiePie was playing during the live stream has slammed him over the slur. We're filing a DMCA takedown of PewDiePie's Firewatch content and any future Campo Santo games. This incident is a sobering reminder of the widespread reach and impact live video can have on you and your business's image. Always remember to be mindful of what you say and do during a live broadcast because you can't edit it out. Google takes aim at Apple's intelligent tracking prevention system. In breaking SEO news this week, Google has announced a new Google Analytics cookie. The new cookie is designed to circumvent the Intelligent Tracking Prevention, or ITP, system in Apple's upcoming Safari browser update. A cookie is a small file generated by websites that stores information about you and your interactions with that site. Cookies are usually saved on your computer until they expire, or you manually delete them. However, Apple's ITP system is designed to limit the tracking to only 24 hours, after which the cookie is only available for login purposes, and after 30 days, the cookie is deleted entirely. The ITP system poses a huge hurdle for advertisers who rely on tracking visitors over extended periods of time, so that they can retarget the visitors via strategically placed ads. Thankfully, Google has updated their Google Analytics cookie, so it will now collect data from Safari in a way that conforms with the ITP system. If you've already linked your Google Analytics and AdWords account, there's nothing more you need to do to take advantage of this new cookie. If you'd like more information on this update and how it impacts your business, head to dmw.to forward slash ITP. Facebook tests preloaded instant videos. Facebook has confirmed they are testing preloaded videos on a small percentage of Android devices. Here's how it works. While you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection, videos in your newsfeed will download in the background and be saved to your phone. A lightning bolt icon will appear on all videos that have been preloaded. Then, when you're out and about, you'll be able to watch these preloaded videos without using up your expensive mobile data. Facebook hopes that this will lead to even more people watching video content on mobile devices. This could give Facebook even more market share in the online video space, as other big players such as YouTube have yet to roll anything like this out to their users. If you've noticed the lightning bolt icon on your videos in your newsfeed, let us know your thoughts on the preloaded videos in the comments. Okay, so that's what's been happening this week in the world of video marketing, SEO, and social media. If you enjoyed this edition of DMW, please hit the like button, we'd appreciate it. Also, make sure you click here and subscribe to DMW right now so that next week you'll get the inside scoop on the latest developments to keep you and your business on the leading edge of digital marketing. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link and subscribe right now.